we're here on the top of our Ingenuity House, uh, which is being built to be our new Midlands headquarters near Birmingham International Airport. This will be the showcase of everything that's best about Interserve. All of our design capabilities, all of our financing capabilities, construction, engineering, and we will then run it. So it'll show how we can do forward-thinking facilities management as well. So this really will be uh, Interserve Central. It's a project that will bring together the disparate parts of the Interserve group. But it's much more than a building. It's a cultural transformation. It's the opportunity to showcase all of our best capabilities in building, in design, in facilities management. It will embrace new ways of working, modern technology, and it will be exemplary in all of its sustainability credentials which we hold very dear at the heart of Interserve. The building itself consists of a steel frame. It's roughly 10,500 square metres in terms of floor area and it's built on a triangular form with a central atrium that is tiered from the ground floor all the way to the third floor. The elevation is a composite of glass and cladding and the final finish is an anodised aluminium panel which will really set the building alight in terms of architecture. And we are focused from an engineering and technical point of view to make sure we've got that exactly right. The real key feature of this job is the, is the central atrium. It's a dome roof light, a dome structure, and, and it spans probably across 50 metres. And it really is the, the centrepiece of the new headquarters. And that in itself will create the right environment and set the tone for people to work in this building. We had to introduce 100 tonnes of temporary steel, which we did early doors, which has enabled us to concrete the floors a lot quicker and speed up the programme process. We as a team have really embraced the BIM model, and that has allowed us to engage with the end users and just give them a real good understanding of, in pictorial form and model form, as to what the final environment will be. So this is not just a building for InterServe, it's a real catalyst for change. Our people will be coming from across five of our sites in the West Midlands and it will be a change for them in the way they work, the way they travel to work. And we want this building to really showcase all of the breadth of InterServe capabilities across all of our divisions. InterServe are constructing its own building. Um, our MDK have been involved in providing equipment for access and ground working. Uh, our site services division have provided the eco cabins that we're standing in now. Um, and our FM division will be managing the building once we move in. We were very keen to make sure that we had a very good soft landings process and that involved talking and uh, working with our FM colleagues right from the start of this process to make sure that what we're actually putting into the building is what they want to manage in the long run and also that we've got a great efficiency in the operation of the building when we move in. What it represents is our, our skill base that really came out of historic PFI industry where we had to get involved in investment in construction projects and we've kind of moved that into a different direction now where we're, we're actively getting involved in development projects and funding of those and we're working very closely with a number of local authorities, health departments about strategic estates developments and partnerships with them to roll out a development programme over a long period of time. What it does demonstrate is the breadth of our skill base. It's not just about you know, the construction side, it's about getting hold of an idea taking it to a business case, getting that signed off and moving it through the various gateways that a project needs to go through. For me what I'm most looking forward to when we move into this building is the connectivity it's going to bring and I think just that freedom of movement, the freedom to interact with people within the business and the freedom to interact with people from our sister businesses in FM and uh, RMD Quickform is what I'm really most looking forward to and I think that's going to generate so many positive outcomes. Sustainability is more than just the environmental impact it's also for InterServe, it's about how we interact with our communities, what social impact we can drive from our activities. And we have therefore made sure that this project has been rooted in the local community. The working environment for our 1400 people will be modern, leading edge, IT enabled, collaborative. It's going to be a brilliant place to work.